Netflix is facing increasing challenges as the production of Prince Harry and Meghan Markle's polo documentary encounters significant logistical hurdles. Initially slated for a November release, the documentary now appears to need a miracle to stay on schedule. According to the Royal Rogue, the polo documentary is moving forward, but production and logistics are a mess because Harry is supposed to be the glue that keeps everything together. This means he needs to travel to a number of countries to interview and hang out with polo stars. However, Meghan doesn't want him to go on his own, as per usual, and traveling with the two of them makes everything ten times more complicated because the kids aren't going with them. They could bring the kids, as they're still little, but as usual, Meghan is making this more complicated than it already is. The polo documentary's release hinges on the coordination and priority of various production companies, many of which are juggling multiple projects, including those under Archul Productions. Archul is already facing its own set of problems, particularly with the halt of their cooking show. The CEO is reportedly furious, viewing the couple's deal as one of the worst in the company's history. In a desperate move, Netflix may release a teaser to gauge public interest using the content they have from the pilot episode. The entertainment industry is currently at a crossroads, making it a challenging time for the Sussexes to venture into the production game. Unlike industry titans like Tyler Perry, who can afford to keep tight budgets and take calculated risks, Harry and Meghan lack the necessary clout and financial backing. Additionally, their network of allies has significantly dwindled over the past three years for various reasons. One of the most criticized decisions was accepting the Pat Tillman Award a move heavily influenced by Serena Williams' personal interests to promote a documentary. This decision backfired, casting Serena's project as a vanity endeavor as she's preoccupied with other business ventures. Acceptance of the award at Serena's insistence has proven to be a strategic misstep. As Meghan's birthday approaches, there's speculation that new photos of the children might surface, a tactic often used to generate headlines. Meghan's Rolodex of connections has shrunk, leaving Harry's better affiliations as their remaining network. The core issue seems to be Meghan's pervasive influence over Harry's projects. Harry appears to enjoy his endeavors more when Meghan's not involved, a sentiment observed on several occasions. Many believe that for Harry to succeed, he needs to distance himself from Meghan's overbearing presence. The polo documentary primarily targeted at a niche audience, risks becoming overshadowed by Meghan's desire to be the focal point. Examples of this dynamic include her prominent role during the Invictus Games, where her presence often overshadowed the event itself. Meghan's tendency to make every project about her detracts from Harry's efforts to carve out his own path. Timing has consistently plagued the couple's ventures. Every move they make seems ill-timed, undermining their objectives. A prime example is the current predicament. Instead of allowing Harry to focus on the polo documentary, Meghan's need to be involved complicates production. Similarly, her cooking show remains stalled, contributing to their contractual obligations hanging in the balance. Netflix's partnership with Harry and Meghan faces numerous challenges, from production delays to strategic missteps. Harry's polo documentary, with its already limited audience, is further hindered by Meghan's insistence on being a part of every aspect, 